So, hello friends. Uh, today I will explain uh, a very important topic of linear algebra, which is called quaternion form, and uh, how we convert in canonical form, and uh, what is a component matrix matrices. What what is the signature rank index of given quaternion form, and uh, definitely uh, we also. Uh, See what is positive definite, what is negative definite, and uh, semi-definite, semi-negative, indefinite. So these all type topics we will learn today. Uh, so what is quadratic form? So any homogeneous equation of Second is called form. For example, x square plus u one square plus Canonical form also known as principal axis form. So it contains only this term, homogeneous power of this. How we convert? That is our task. So for that purpose, we first take matrix A. What is matrix A? Which easily we can write How we calculate 
get the idea that you will know very well. And always remember this matrix A is symmetric matrix, which you can see easily. So A always symmetric matrix and calculate its eigenvalue, which you can do easily. Once you know eigenvalue, second step, find corresponding. I can vector by ortho monad index method. Means the eigen vectors must be pairwise orthogonal and their norm should be one. If you don't know what is orthogonal reduction, so please see my previous video in which only I explain how we diagnose the matrix using orthogonal reduction. So once you calculated corresponding eigenvector using orthogonal reduction method, you have like the modal matrix which contains all eigenvectors in a column form. So now you have to then that much. Once you completed P, then you know what is B? B is P inverse K P. Cut. And because P is orthogonal matrix, so we can write P was is what? P dash K P. So our quantity form reduces X dash or Y dash, you can say Y dash dy in this form. And what is it? Lambda 1, 0, 0. 0, lambda 2, 0. 0, 0, lambda. 1, 10, 2, x, no matter. So, here. So, it will come in form of lambda 1, x square, lambda 2, y square, lambda 3, z square. This is our canonical form corresponding canonical form. This matrix P is known as matrix for transformation. Matrix for transformation. Which, uh, which matrix we use to transform into canonical form. Remember, a and D are congruent matrix. A and D is known as congruent matrix. And this methodology uh, means the one of the method which we use the uh, congruent reduction method. Orthogonal also known as congruent reduction method. Now come for main part. What is main part? I will tell about nature. First of all, what is index? Index of quadratic form. What is index? Number of positive terms in canonical form. Which you can easily calculate. Already you calculated eigenvalues, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. That are the coefficients. That only tell how many positive terms are there. So how many lambdas are positive? That is your index. Then signature. Signature of quantity form. What is signature of quantity form? Difference between number of positive terms and number of 
Again, I will repeat the procedure. Uh, procedure is very simple. Procedure is first they will give one quadratic form Q. They will give compare with the given equation a x square plus b y square plus b z square plus two f y z plus two g z plus two h x y. Sometimes they will give in form of x one x two x three. So change it accordingly. Once You know values of A, B, C, F, G, H. Put in uh, matrix, you will get uh, A matrix, which is always symmetric. Once you have symmetric matrix, find its uh, eigen values and eigen vector. Eigen vector, always remember, you have to calculate uh, using orthogonal transformation method, with orthogonal index method. It means uh, we have to calculate orthonormalized eigen vectors always. So how we calculate orthonormalized vector? If you know, then do much good. Otherwise, uh, uh, follow my previous lecture. I think I explained uh, that one uh, well. So please go for that. So once you know about orthonormalization, you will get eigen vectors which are pairwise orthogonal and norm could be one. So x1, x2, x3 you have put in column form of P. You will get P matrix, modal matrix P. Which is orthogonal matrix, and once you have P, that is known as congruent matrix. And remember, A and B are uh, uh, congruent. Uh, 
matrix is a, a congruent transformation matrix for transformation you can say or matrix for orthogonal reduction or mat matrix for congruent reduction anything they can ask or find the matrix of transformation simply they ask then that matrix p is that a and d are congruent matrix matrices in that case a and d are congruent congruent is also mean as orthogonal so which matrix is orthogonal p so uh, using p we converted uh, a terminal form so a and d are known as congruent matrices so once you know congruent matrices a and d what is the canonical form canonical form is very easy uh, that is uh, lambda 1 x square plus lambda 2 y square plus lambda 3 z square uh, sometimes uh, some writers are using y1 y2 y3 so in place of x y z you can put y1 y2 y3 it's your choice nothing will happen because uh, it will not play any role for nature it you, what will play the role lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 now based on sign of lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 you can tell about its signature what is the signature number of positive terms in canonical form means how many eigen values are positive that one what is negative uh, uh, signature number of positive terms and uh, difference between positive number of positive terms and negative terms so uh, uh, that also based on uh, uh, what it uh, means how many eigen values are positive and how many eigen values are negative take the difference of that and then rank rank of uh, quadratic form is equal to rank of given matrix a which you can calculate easily uh, and then uh, nature uh, it's a positive definitely if all eigen values are positive if any one is zero then it is called semi positive definite if all eigen values are negative then it is called negative definite if any one is zero also then it is called known as semi negative positive definite uh, semi negative definite and the, what is indefinite if some eigen values are positive and some eigen values are negative so uh, this is the complete structure of quadratic form now i will solve what question i will explain right so question i am going to take is This is the quadratic form. You have to convert in canonical forms and uh, find the matrix of transformation. Tell about the nature. How things you have to do? Okay, so I'm going to go for that. So this is the quadratic form. So if you compare here, there is the terms of x and x to be given. So you can change the quadratic. So we have to compare. Compare with. What is that mean? A x square. So A x one square plus B y square means B x two square plus C x three square plus two F y j. Y j means x two x three plus two G j x. J means x three x one plus two H x y. X y means x one x. Compare this uh, this equation. What you get? A value how much? Zero. B zero. C zero. F value. So two F value is uh, minus two. F value minus one. C value one. H value one. Correct. So once you know A B C F G, what is the matrix A? Zero. 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 A H. H value one, G value one, 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 minus one, minus one. This is matrix A. Once you know A matrix, find out its characteristic equation. Because we have to calculate its eigenvalues first, and then we have to calculate eigenvectors. So what is the characteristic equation? Uh, lambda Q minus J. What is this? Zero. Uh, so zero into lambda square plus 
minus of a one one a two two a three three. So zero minus is zero minus one. This minus is zero minus one. So this this uh, minus one. So minus three. So it will be minus three lambda. Uh, minus determinant. What is determinant? Determinant of a. How much? Zero. Zero. Uh, minus one. Zero. Plus one. Plus one into. Uh, 
Transform quadric form into quadric chemical form. And that's how you get that it's very simple. We have to use an example to be wise. And it will turn out that I will explain later. So this is complete structure of quadric form. 
hope you all understand how we do it. It's very easy process. So please do it and uh, we meet in next lecture. Thank you.